We are back playing Find the Fukin, so this will be an update video. Please do see my first video for all the other foodkins, they will not be covered in this video. So we're starting off in the desert area and we are making our way to the right tent to find the ribs. And this is the tent that's just by the kind of big temple. So for pirate barbecue you will get a warning when the, the barbecue has arrived. Um, so I've had that warning so we're just trying to find it now. And you need to make your way out the back of the temple. And on this column here, there is the pirate barbecue. So if you push this kind of glowing orb, this is not too far from kind of where the, um, the quicksand area is. We then drop into this tunnel and we are given a torch. If you follow the light, it will direct you. I'm so sorry for the resolution on this video. The developer has turned everything into a constant night cycle. I think it's obviously for the spooky Halloween effect, <laughs> but it does play havoc with my videos. However, at the end of the tunnel, you will find Mummy Brownie. Carry on walking through and we will find Witch's Brew. There's actually a gap in the wall and we can sneak through into the new Halloween area. However, I will come back and show you that a bit later on in the video. Making our way in the mountain area to the lava pool, we will now see this brightly coloured button. If we push it, it then brings up a path that we need to follow. So these platforms here appear that we just need to obby round. It is on a timer, so you are going to have to be quick. Wow, quickish. And the game will prompt you, hurry up. <laughs> However, at the top of the pillar, we will then find Dango. Making our way to the back of the mountain area, that is the other entrance to the Halloween area. However, this is the area where the wolf would be with the patty. Not sure where the wolf has gone, but we have found the number one candle. This is for the 16 food pin, so there's obviously two parts to this one. We now have a crate on top of one of the pillars. So we're going to need to make our way round and jump inside where we will find almond water. Making our way through this area now towards jungle, you will see an enormous mushroom. Underneath this enormous mushroom we will now find prickly pear. So just to show you if you want to come through to the mushroom a different way, there is the massive mushroom and it's right opposite the waterfall there, kind of in line with the tent, you can't miss it. Making our way down through the jungle now towards the tower where Cherry Pie is. Right at the back of this map. And we now have a glowing meteor. And yes, there is a blooming maze now. Because I love mazes that much, so I have to cram one into every single one of these games. I hate them. However, I am going to follow some really great advice that I was given for completing mazes, which is to go in the same direction. So I started off going left, and no matter how many dead ends you hit, you just carry on going down left. So there is a ghost of banana ghost that we're trying to find. I'm going to continue going left. This trick has served me well. I don't know if it works for every maze, but it does help, I think. Even though I still get lost and confused, I am absolute trash. However, this time I have found Banana Ghost relatively easily. So back in the jungle area now, so we need to try and make our way 
over to kind of the cliff that overlooks the lava pool. And inside the plant, we then find cheese cracker. Not sure if I would class that as easy, it's not really out in the open as such. It's not obvious. Back in spawn, um, if you remember the roof where Cookie was, the number six candle has now appeared. And then just in front of the gallery building, you can't miss it, the 16 Victoria sponge cake has now appeared. Inside the mountain area, there's this glowing barrel. You can't miss it, it's really, really obvious. Um, and it did wonder what that was for. It had to be something to do with pretzels, so obviously in this game we can morph our weight. So trying it as a skinny version of me, nothing trying it as the big version of me and then you just see pretzel pop up over there how cool is that and the beacon has now stopped i do love the big version of me <laughs> okay so back to my usual avatar size And as I said, I am super sorry for the resolution of this video. Um, you probably see a lot in shadow. However, as I said, it is a constant night cycle, I think, for this Halloween event. So we are going to go into the Halloween area. And as soon as we enter that area for the first time, we become zombified. So we need to find the cupcake to get back to normal. I love this area. It's so spooky. It's so great for Halloween. Um, I do commend the developer on this new area of the map. I absolutely love it. I'd love one just like this. Not the rest of the maps, just all spooky, just all Halloween. <laughs> And there's so much attention to detail. I mean, just look at the wallpaper, look at the walls. You look at the little knickknacks that are all on the kind of walls, the posters. It's great. You even got a spooky Kinder Egg version of the um, of the food skin. So we're still a zombie, still trying to find this cupcake. <laughs> and this house is pretty big. There are three levels, I think, to this, this house. And then in some of the webs, the actual big massive spiders pop up. So on the first floor, we have the devil's egg. And if you worship it, you have to harvest its player's soul. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love this update. It's brilliant. I don't actually know if the players know that their, their souls have been harvested or not, I don't know. <laughs> However, when you get the deviled egg, I'm absolutely 
absolutely positively sure that I did not see that cupcake um, when we did the first wand around the library. However, it is there now and we have managed to change ourselves out of the zombie and back to normal. So that is on the first floor kind of in what I'm going to don the library area. So we've still got our pitchfork to harvest six poor people's souls who are players in the game. But we have found a key in the bathtub and the, we have lost the pitchfork now. I don't think there's an inventory in this game. There is the devil egg again. However, I've got this key, so we might as well see what the key opens. Um, I'm not sure there was anything on the ground floor that I missed. However, up onto the third floor now. And there are the spiders that pop up, they're absolutely massive. Every arachnophobic worst nightmare like myself. And out the back by the mother massive spider we have a chest and we have found pumpkin pie. We are going to go and grab our pitchfork again. That would have been a really great place for an obby, considering they've got the levitating furniture there already. So we have got our pitchfork again, it is time to go and harvest some souls. Now when I was playing there weren't too many players knocking around this map, but however one did appear, and you get to turn them red. <laughs> I harvest your soul. Um, you can go back to spawn and go and harvest some more people's souls. <laughs> Join the game, I've harvested your soul. <laughs> However, when you've got enough souls, you can go back and then go and collect the devil's egg. Going back up to the laboratory now on the third floor. And we're trying to find like the Frankenstein pickle. <laughs> Or the Franken pickle, whatever they're called, I can't quite remember. And over by the bookcase, there is kind of an activate where the buttons are. Now, you will need to repeatedly activate the experiment. I think it's about five times. Dr. Frankenstein. And when you have given it enough juice, it's alive. You have the Franken pickle. <laughs> oh, I love it. So, in order to get the candy bat, which is floating kind of above the Halloween area, um, we need to go over to Snow. And in the ice lake, there is a crack. Now, thinking like the glass over in the city, I thought, oh, well, you know, I'll go big and smash the ice and then I'll fall through. However, what you need to do is go thin and then go through the gap and you can get candy bat. Now, 
these vines are just very stranger things. <laughs> I think the developer must have been a fan of that TV show, which is absolutely excellent. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch it. If you follow or what the branch or the vine or whatever those are, I'm going to call them the Stranger Thing vines. Um, then you actually make your way towards the house, and the candy corn is there on the roof. I've never had candy corn. I am so curious what that stuff tastes like. Do drop me a comment if you think it's worth me finding it somewhere. So just as I was about to launch this video, they have actually created a couple of new foodkins. So in the first floor by the piano, you will see a glowing orb. What you need to do is sit down at the piano and the keyboard will appear. I don't know which key it was, I just hit random ones. However, when you hit the right key, the foodkin will appear. And then to get the upside down new one, by the wardrobe you will see another orb. The wardrobe actually allows you to teleport. When you teleport through the piano wardrobe, you can then go and collect the upside down food kin. So there's an addition of snow cone um, in this game, but you do have to like the game and join. So it's extreme, I have no idea, but I'm assuming it's some kind of like the arrows where you've got to complete 80% um, and get it right, I don't know. The ice cream also still does not work for me. However, there we are, we have found all the new food skins. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care and see you soon.